Hello and welcome back. Today, we're diving a little deeper into VBA's message box with yes, no, and cancel options. These options allow you to control the flow of your VBA script based on user input. Let's start with the simpler yes, no option in message box without an explicit cancel option. Sometimes all you need is a straightforward prompt for user confirmation as shown in the screenshot. If the user denies, the program will exit without further processing. Now, let's look at this example. The worksheet contains some unsorted dividend data. Our aim is to sort the data by company and ex-dividend date. And afterwards, blocks of cells referring to the same company should be colored using two alternating colors. You'll see in a moment what I mean by that. The important thing is that we want to process the data only after explicitly confirming to do so when prompted by a message box. The code to display the message box is just this small section here at the top, whereas all the code from here on is dedicated to processing the data. When I press No, nothing happens. But when I press yes, the code that performs the sorting and coloring of the data is executed. Now, let's revisit the message box code. By the way, I've reset the data in the worksheet, just in case you are wondering. Instead of exiting code execution when pressing no, we can also modify the message box code to check for a yes response directly. Here is how. Personally, I favor the first variant in most cases since it is cleaner to me. Because, in the latter case, if your code is very long, you easily lose track of the end if which has to flank the if statement. You can complement the yes and no buttons with a cancel button using the VB yes no cancel option. This adds a layer of flexibility. It's particularly useful when the decision isn't binary and requires a safe exit route. Let's consider a scenario where you're preparing to run a time-consuming operation on a dataset in Excel. Our first procedure implements the message box and stores the answer in the variable response. Then, there's the if-then logic, implementing specific actions for the three conditions. If the user presses yes, the string performed will be added to a log file. Subsequently, the code for a complex operation is performed, represented by the placeholder code shown here. For the sake of the video, it's just updating a custom progress bar for 5000 iterations. In a real world scenario, we might be analyzing a large amount of data, which would take some time. And this is the reason we seek user confirmation. After the operation is done, the user will be notified by another message box. Let's see this in action. The next if branch handles the situation when the user presses no. In that case, we only want to add the string aborted to the log file, but nothing else should happen apart from showing a message box informing the user that the operation has been aborted. Let's see how this goes. Finally, this branch handles the situation when the user hits the cancel button. The special thing here is that unlike the previous branches, not even the log file will be updated, nor will anything else be done, besides informing the user with a further message box. So, the cancel option ensures no actions are taken.
maintaining the current state. Let's again see this in praxis. And here I'm showing you that only the yes and no options produced log file entries. And that's a wrap on using the yes, no, and cancel buttons in message box. The right choice depends on your specific needs. Experiment with these options in your VBA projects. If this tutorial has been helpful, please consider showing your support with a like. And for more practical tips and tricks like this, subscribing would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, happy coding!